Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our divine feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a divine masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you, all right? Let us go ahead, you all. Jump right into the reading. I hope you all are doing well on today. And in the event that you are not, I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved, all right? Let us go ahead, get into it. Okay. Please keep in mind these are general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but don't be surprised if something truly, truly, and sincerely does. <laughs> all right. We have the Six of Wands and the Strength card. Something is coming to this person's awareness. They feel like something can and will be successful with their determination and fighting spirit. They're going to be bold and courageous and come towards you. Take the steps they're being divinely guided to take. Three of Pentacles. Commitment energy. Someone is committed to putting the work in. All right. Someone is committed to putting the work in here. They have thought about this. They have spent a lot of time thinking about what it is that they want. This is what they want. Okay. Feeling heartbreak without you. The person doesn't like being without you here. 33. They're learning a lot. They may not say how they're feeling, but they're not feeling well. Okay. Not being in contact with their twin, not being in union with their twin, not something that makes them happy, okay? Being with you makes them happy, all right? Eight of Wands, communication, movement. This person is determined to overcome the obstacles. Mm. This person is feeling like an emperor. Seven of Wands here. Yeah, they're determined. Seven of Wands. Stand up and fight for what it is that they want. They want this connection. They want this relationship. They want this journey with you. They want a life with you. That's what I'm hearing. The moon. They won't ever reveal their true pains, hurt, not being with you. They just want to move things forward in any way that you can. That's what they want to do. They've been feeling stuck and trapped in their mind for some time now. Someone may... may be currently or may have in the past blackmailed this person in an attempt to keep them stuck because the cage is open it's like they can go if they want to but just know that this person can pull strings at any time to pull them back because they have two chains here the cage is open yes but this person is hunched over holding themselves and they have the two chains loosely in their hands like go ahead you can only go but so far and then I'm going to yank you back or something like that okay so they could have been afraid of that what comes with that what does that mean what would that mean for the connection that the two of you have and that could be something they're not sharing with you because this moon card keeps coming up
feel like they have to say something or do something because at least then they can say, all right, I did it. Ace of Pentacles is an offer. They want to make an offer to you in physical time where we're working together, being on one accord. Page of Wands, this is a message. This person may reach out and let you know that they are in pain, that they are hurting. Okay? They do not like this separation. Okay? There could have been a message between the two of you where they said that, or you can just see that they are now putting in a lot more energy, a lot more effort. Yeah, because you're their divine counterpart, and they love you. They love you with everything in them, okay? There's a lot of romance here between the two of you. You're both very open with each other. It's a very light, breezy, you know, making love with the window open on a Sunday type of energy. Look at the canopy bed. <laughs> okay, romance. Candles burning everywhere. White candles to top that off. So pure energy, welcome in divine white light. Okay. Unlike the other card where they were sitting there with that three of swords and the lady had the uh, the black candles. Remember? We were saying how they was under some sort of dark energy. This is the dark energy over here. And they, they're open to be free. But not really. Only to a certain extent. All right. You have the Queen of Pentacles. They feel like you're dependable. You're reliable. This is why they can make this offer to you. You're stable. Mm -hmm. Your heart is so open. This person loves everything about the way that you love them. Okay? But it's not like they only love you because, oh, you love me good. No, they love you because they love you. The type of person you are, who you are, how you are. They feel like it's fate, meant to be, it's destiny, you're everything that they pray for in a person. They're praying for their way out of this situation, out of this devil situation, whatever it is, okay? Something that has their soul feeling bonded at this time, okay? So when people see this card or hear these things and they, they take it lightly, it's not light, okay? A lot of these people are stuck in situations that they really don't want to be in. And you may think that's... <laughs> BS, but I guess you don't believe something until you experience it, right? That's just how everything is. We have the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups is commitment, dedication. Four of Wands is Twin Flame Union. This is what they're wanting with you, all right? They want to commit to their lover, their divine counterpart. They're heartbroken without you, heartbroken in a situation, and heartbroken at the fact that they have possibly caused you pain, heartbroken at the fact they have broken your heart, okay? That's love. Nine of Wands, okay? <clears throat> like, this person is not, uh, oh, you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. You're not, oh, you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. No, okay? I'm getting someone that's just tired. The Nine of Wands is being tired, okay? The wounded warrior feeling like, listen, I know that you stuck and I'm doing everything that I can to tell you to come on and free yourself. But it's like you're making it harder than you need to. Because remember, over here, we're protected by light. So if you come over here, you're good, you know, and that energy keeps coming out. So flip it however you need to. It could be them that's telling you that. You could feel like you're stuck in a karmic situation. And they're like, listen, no, you're not. Come on over here. We protect it. Don't worry about that. You know what I mean? Um... And maybe you just need to see it. You need to see something first, okay? Maybe what you need to see from them is the dedication. Three of Pentacles is the devotion, you know? Is them making an offer to you that is solid, something you can count on or something that is in the physical, not just a spiritual thing. You know, Queen of Cups, very spiritual, right? Three of Swords, something that I know, something that I saw, something that I'm aware of. It has uh, caused me pain. It has caused pain to my mind, which ultimately causes me pain. Emotionally, okay? So it's that type of thing going on here, all right? So it's like needing to see something. Yeah, six of swords, moving forward, moving on. Wanting something to smooth out between the two of you, all right? Spirit is guiding them in that direction, but again... Totally up to them how they're going to go about handling it. Yeah, see, faith, higher fit, okay? Something that is of higher purpose, higher reason, okay? 
deeper and stronger commitment. So that's what I'm saying. They want to give you the, the highest level of commitment that they can. Yeah. That's why I said Ace of Pentacles, my engagement ring, then the higher friend, they want to marry you. Three of Pentacles is cooperation, being committed, devoted, working together, collaboration of souls and energies. So marriage, lovers, divine counterpart energy, eight of wands, communication, back and forth energy, seven of wands, showing you that they're determined to stand up and fight for this connection. You know, page of Pentacles, good news being received. Double emphasis on that page of wands and the page of pentacles, okay? Could also be two small children, fire sign, earth sign, okay? You could have known them since you were a child as well. Could have saw each other grow up, okay? Death card, death card, uh, rebirth, transformation, spiritual growth. Finding creative ways to make what you have stretch. Yeah, Empress. Seven of Pentacles, you invest wisely with everything. Your time, your energy, and your money. You just, you make wise decisions. Queen of Pentacles, when it comes to your investments of your, yourself. What do you want to invest you into? You're very mindful of that. The sun card. Very mindful of your energy. Your abundance. Yeah, four of cups. I feel like this situation was eating away at you energetically. <clears throat> like I said, somebody's tired. So if they, you know, if they ever thought just for a split second that you were doing something to, to get back at them or to get even, it's not that at all. You're the five of swords. It's not that at all. This person could have thought that for a split second because that's what they're used to. They're used to this devil energy. They're used to somebody manipulating them. They're used to somebody hanging things over them to hurt them. You're not doing that. You love them. Okay? You love them. You're showing up as the queen of cups. It's just the tree of life. You have to walk the path that you need to walk. Hermit is isolation. Hermit is also ghosting. So there are times that maybe this person has ghosted and left you alone left you in isolation okay and so it's not necessarily what you want to do but what you have to do yes judgment is your discernment so you cannot allow yourself to have piss poor discernment because this is your divine counterpart it doesn't work like that okay so i feel like somebody is just tired and again you can flip it if you need to this can be masculine that feels like this he's like listen i can't keep doing this you know put yourself on whichever side you go and you could be the one like, I really want to commit. I really want to be with you. But they're like, do you? Because you're not freeing yourself from this karmic situation to be with me. I want to be with you. Be with me. You know? If you want to be with me, then be with me. So we have the strength card. Something like that. Needing to be courageous. Needing to be bold. Needing to put yourself out there. Okay. Music, soul, child, love just came on. <laughs> All right. That's funny. So, Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, through all the ups and downs, the joys and the hurts, okay? This person still loves you. That's what I'm getting here. Through all of that, they still love you, all right? <clears throat> For better or worse, they still will choose you first. So that's why they want an Ace of Pentacles, marry you, give you that offer. This was here. Yeah, broken heart, healer of the ages. They're longing for you. I'm longing for the chance to get to know you on a deeper level because they've always wanted love they've been aiming to manifest love their entire lives you get what i'm saying then get to this point where it's like okay here it is now what they feel like they got it and didn't know what to do with it or something like that you get what i'm saying so child go to your auntie's house all right Oh, we're here putting this lotion on, child. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Man holding a coin. Okay, coming towards you to make this offer. It's like they manifested love. They wanted love. It manifested you, didn't know what to do with it, okay? Okay. 
goddess of the moon, your intuition is telling you that you can what? Trust this? Mm-hmm. Door to romance. Woman holding a coin. It's a solid offer that you can accept. The world. Mm -hmm. Door to value. You know your value. So you will receive, you know, treatment that is according to your value. To how you treat yourself. First chakra. Okay. Stable, secure, you know who you are, secure within yourself. You have six chakra, inner knowing. All tied up, okay, someone is freeing themselves where they need to. They intuitively know this. Oop. Okay, we got adjacent possibilities. All right, seven chakra. There are other options, better options. When it comes to romance, other doors to walk through. It's about self confidence, belief. Okay? Yin Yang, divine feminine and masculine energies here. Okay, the thinking man. Yeah, this man is thinking. You're the person that I want to make this offer to. You're the one that I can trust with this offer, with this coin. Yeah, with my heart, <laughs> with my everything. You're the one that I can trust with me. That's how this person is feeling. Okay, they know that you don't play about them. <laughs> mm, they don't play about you. Yeah, third party, roll the dice. You got them wanting to be the one they would start a new relationship with you. <laughs> mm, that's how it came out. You gotta trust what you getting. That's what they, what they're thinking about. They feel like you're pure. Yeah, see, you love. They feel like you're pure. Not too many pure people left in the world. So when you find one, you're going to try to hold on. Mm, finances. Okay, this person is very successful. They work a lot. They could work in finance. They feel a very strong attraction to you. Because, again, you may work in finance. Or you just may be very stable. You show up as the queen of pentacles. Now a woman holding a coin. Um, you know what to do with money, okay? They find that very attractive. They find you to be irresistible. Okay? Spiritual awakening. This person has learned a lot of lessons, okay? They're ready to come towards you. Again, be brave. Speak their truth. Even if they don't drink, they just want to be brave. Come towards you and let you know how they're feeling. They want to bring something into the physical with that first chakra. Give it some roots. Plant something with you. They want you to give them the green light. Soulmates. Yeah, you're a soulmate. Twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives, change. Yeah, they're healing so that this change can take place. You know, freeing themselves or you are freeing yourself or whatever that is. We have family, generations, children, ancestors, origin. Freeing yourself from years and years of ancestral trauma or different things like that. Yeah. That's something. Okay. Freeing yourselves from years of ancestral trauma to be together. Okay. That karmic doesn't always have to be a person. Okay. Could be for some of them. Karmic person threatening them. Others of them. Generational curses. All right. This person... Could be at a distance from you. You may have to travel towards them. They have to travel towards you. This person could be in regret over not having come towards you sooner. But remember, all things happen when they're meant to. Adjacent possibilities. Could I have something to do with that finances too? Just them working all the time. When you working all the time. But see, there's text message coming in here. Okay, ex-lover. Yeah, somebody that ghosted you, like I said, with that hermit, or somebody you feel like ignored you, rejected you, disappears all the time, leaves you feeling anxious and, and restless, okay? It's like the energy has reversed or something. We have text message. Now this person reaches out. They want to call, send you a direct message. 
Okay, you intuitively knew it was going to happen like this. That's what it feels like. You're getting signs everywhere. The music that this person is now single, that they're now um, available. Okay. Yeah, truth. Confession, clarity reveals secret. Someone wants to confess their true feelings for you. They've been at a crossroad. Okay. But they want a relationship with you. They want reconciliation. Okay. They want to make something right. They want to bring balance in. This is their judgment on a situation. Making something right with you. Second chance. I miss you. Like I said. The twin says they have a magnetic attraction to you. They can't stay away from you. Even if they try to wear this mask, it's like you can read between the lines. You can see what it is very clearly. All right. You know this person. And they love that about you. They love that you know them in that way, you know. Yeah, in the very near future, they're going to come towards you like, I need you. <laughs> I need it. All right. Yeah, that's your divine masculine. That's your bag. <laughs> hmm. Today, this person is thinking about you. Birds chirping right now. They down for whatever. They down for the ride with you. Yeah, they want to meet. They want to have a good time. All right, let us see. The very near future, all right, you and this person are going to be making money together, I feel. There's someone, like I said, that may try to retaliate. This person has the proof. The only reason why they stayed away from you or one of the reasons why they've been keeping their distance, but they're hoping and praying that the two of you can make up for that, you know, again, with this vacation energy, spending exclusive time with you. This person feels like you could be avoiding them right now. <clears throat> but that's because you're trying to cleanse them out of your energy. This person is connected to you via social media and other ways. Like I said, they work a lot. I mean, they work a lot. But they could have a family that they were supporting. Okay, so they're supposed to. <laughs> that's honestly how I feel about that one. Yeah, but we have commitment. They want to travel towards you and offer you this commitment, long-term relationship. Okay. They want to be with you. Yeah. They separated themselves from someone that they do not want to be with, or this is you, because you want to be with each other. Okay. Ghosting, anxiety, text message. Okay. It could also be this person feels like you ghosted them after a text message, or that's how you feel. They ghosted you after a text message. Your soulmate feels like you have them on lock, SOS. You know, I love you. You got me here, frustrated, waiting on you, you know, um, pulling on my heartstrings. This person feels like you got them where you want them, and you don't even know it. Yeah, we got anchor chains weighed down, offer proposal commitment, unexplainable pull, can't resist. Yeah, when I tell you they cannot, cannot. You're getting signs everywhere, too. Like I said, the songs that you're hearing or whatever. All right, we have access granted, all right, social media, fake profile, and hiding, okay? Yep, this person could be, um, if you have, like, if you have ever logged in to their phone, I mean, logged into the, uh, your YouTube or anything like that from their phone, or you know what I mean, anything like that, if you guys share any passwords to, like, Apple Music or anything like that, then I feel like, yeah, it could be very specific music that's coming on for a very specific reason because they want you to hear it or something like that, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, you know how algorithms work, too. It could be something that they're listening to that now, because they listening to it so much, it's popping up on your stuff or something like that. Okay, but you're going to start seeing messages from this person, synchronicities, different signs like that. Okay, but we have denial here. Yeah, this person was denying the truth for a very long time, and they feel like they can't do it anymore. Yeah, it literally says not facing truth. Now they're 
feeling locked down, mental prison confined because you make them happy. They feel like all the color is gone when you're not around. I said this months ago, you know, they feel like it's no sunshine when you're not present. Okay, seriously, it's really how this person feels. Yeah, you have love because they love you. So they feel like you have them where you want them and you don't even know it. But that's because a lot of you feel like this person has done a lot of toxic, unhealthy things. But that's because of situation they were in and afraid to open up and tell you what was going on. And again, they have the proof, okay? So, yeah, they know that you feel like you're done. They know why you feel like that, <laughs> okay? Yeah, but they feel like um, <sighs> they have to come towards you and tell you what happened or tell you what's going on or... They have to give you the ins and outs to what's what. Because, again, with this retaliation energy, there's somebody that's, like, trying to get back at your person. Okay? Because they're trying to come toward you. Okay? That's what that done could be about as well. Them being done with someone that's poisoned, toxic, unhealthy. Because they unconditionally love you. Can't stay away from you. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to retaliate. Mm-hmm. Archangel Michael's like, I'm protecting y'all. You're getting signs everywhere that that's what's happening. Believe what you're seeing. Oh. Okay. Some of you may feel like you don't know if you can trust your soulmate. You don't know if they're telling you the truth. About just what their entire motives are. I mean, it says, I can't stop thinking about your beauty. Whoa. Okay. Your hug is what I need most right now. We both are working together in unison, even if you cannot see it yet. They said, all you got to do is say yes. I would like to give this another chance. <laughs> all you got to do is say yes. That song. Mm -hmm. I feel tired of hiding my true feelings from you. Don't deny what you feel. Let me undress you, babe. That's what it just said. I feel tired of hiding my true feelings from you. They're tired of denying the truth. I sometimes feel you deserve so much better than me. It could be this person, they work so much, they're always working. The money comes, it goes. They feel like they're not as stable as they would like to be or something. But nowadays, I feel like that's how it's designed and set up to be. Unless you specifically set it up in a way where you're projecting for the future, that's what it's like. Also, this person could just be working so much because they see the, the direction that everything is going and they're projecting how things are going to be for themselves. They're like, okay, I'm going to make this money. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I'm going to get this money up. I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure that later on I'm straight. You know, they keep showing up as King of Pentacles. You show up as Queen of Pentacles. That's what King and Queen of Pentacles do. They prepare for the future. Knight of Coins. Yeah, exactly. They make plans. They exactly. So in this person's mind, you're a part of the long-term plan. Okay, you are a part of the long-term plan, whether you see that or not. Okay, my emotions for you are running deep. Yeah, I'm always with you in spirit. It, it runs so deep, like to the point where this person sees you as. A part of what they're doing everything for you know like nothing will ever keep us apart they're doing it for themselves but there's a bigger picture there's a future end goal you know no one will ever compare to you so I was already seeing you be a part of it that's where they're coming from yeah without you in my life I feel so lost you were always a part of it I had a crush on you from the very start they love the fact that they get to be themselves around you. 
I know one day we will find our way back to each other. I wanted to tell you so many times already how much I missed you. Beautiful. I was like a kid in a candy store yesterday, you guys. I had so much fun. So many new goodies. Always getting new goodies, but it's so much different. And of course, better when you get to go in person. You know, and I just really had a good time. Look at these, such beautiful things that we got. New contributions for our channel, you guys. And for our readings in general, when we do our personals too. golden solar dragon helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom wow let your dna be re reprogrammed and light codes activated become an inspired leader wow this is our first time ever using this my first time ever ever using this deck and we get the golden solar dragon which says help you stand in your masculine power with wisdom this person knows you're the one for them you're a part of their plans you fit into them perfectly i actually feel like they've always had you be a part of them they just feel they need to work the nerve up to be courageous and bold enough to come towards you and say, yes, this is how I'm feeling about you. This is what I want. This is what I see. This is what spirit told me is in store for. Because remember, feminine energy, chaos, masculine energy, order, structure, right? So, yeah, they've always saw it. But I feel like right now you're running away isn't necessarily helping. You may also have a masculine that just is a man of few words and would rather do things, you know? We have fire dragon, burns up the lower energies around you. I love that. You are safe and protected, exactly. Be determined and inspired, clear your soul pathway, exactly. Anything that tries to stop this masculine from walking his path, his destiny, is going to be burned. It's like, I dare you. I dare you to mess with masculine. I dare you. I triple dog dare you out this mug. <clears throat> All right. Orange dragon. Bring soul families and communities together. Beautiful. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people everywhere together. I say, blessed be, and it is so. Thank you, Spirit, for such a beautiful gift. Beautiful soul family. Thank you for bringing everyone here who crosses paths with me during this video. It means they're meant to. Earth dragon, yes. Clears your path and the land around you. Mm-hmm. Stay grounded. Be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing. You can move forward in life. Don't worry. It's gonna flow. Earth dragon. <laughs> the reason I felt connected to this deck is because I've been really uh, channeling dragons a lot lately. As you guys know, who follow me and watch these readings every single day, which thank you for all of the love and support. You know, but as far as that goes, yes, you know. I have been feeling really drawn to dragons. We keep mentioning it. So here we go. Dragons. All right. White gold dragon from Lyra. Okay. Or Lyra. Connects you to the highest Christ light. Ooh. Develop your casual chakra. Excuse me. Causal. Excuse me. Develop your causal chakra. Mm -hmm. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. I say casual. I can't see you guys. It's really low. The light. And I don't have my glasses. Judge your auntie. <laughs> All right. But yes. So it connects you to the highest Christ light. 
develop your causal chakra bathe in ninth dimensional christ light okay so i tell you you are protected the divine is with you rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors remember the adjacent possibilities card have trust rediscover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities okay remember i said we'll be working together soon accept opportunities Earth and air dragon, okay, represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Oh, Stay balanced. Ground your visions. Manifest your hopes and dreams. That's beautiful. Aww. Let's look at the underlining, okay? Royal blue and gold dragon. Strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Again, masculine, okay? Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride, okay? Remember that cloak card we talked about last week? Yeah, because it's the weekend now. So this week that just passed, okay? We talked about the cloak card and how masculine was um, tapping into their, their gifts and remembering who they are and being empowered and not running away from their true feelings and just becoming more open to expressing those things remember they come from a very toxic karmic low vibrational place where not necessarily them but the people around them were making it hard for them to express themselves you know so they're coming out of that they're they're seeing that they can do it they can open up yeah they're realizing this okay so give it time i hope that this helps you if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and high grace.